U.S. Navy's new Columbia-class ballistic missile submarine with upgraded Trident 2D5 SLBMs, are on the way. The Navy construct and prepare its new Columbia-class submarines on an accelerated time frame. The Navy is preparing to shoot its Trident 2D5 missile from its emerging new Columbia-class submarine as part of a plan to complete the boat ahead of schedule in the late 2020s. We will go through the standard strategic weapons testing and eventually do a test shot to prove out the weapons system before it goes on its first patrol, Captain John Rucker, Program Manager. Columbia-class fleet ballistic missile submarines, said at the Navy League Sea Air Space Symposium. While the test shot will of course involve an unarmed missile, it will function as a critical step in preparing the ballistic missile submarine for decades of undersea strategic deterrence. Rucker said the Navy is now building a special system in Cape Canaveral, Florida, to test the missile systems which will be ready as soon as next year. They are doing all of the qualifications right now and are on track to finish in July, he added. The Trident 2D 5S have both been maintained and upgraded in recent years, a scenario which makes it possible for the Navy to literally integrate the exact same weapons system into the Columbia class as is now arming the existing Ohio class. Research, prototyping science and technology work and initial missile tube construction on Columbia-class submarines have been underway for several years. One key exercise, called tube and hull forging, involves building four packs of missile tubes to assess welding and construction methods. These structures are intended to load into the boat's modules as construction advances. Rucker said that the Navy recently awarded a new missile tube construction deal in April. The Columbia class will have 16 launch tubes rather than the 24 tubes currently on Ohio boats, yet the Columbias will be about two tons larger, according to Navy information. While the Navy may ultimately engineer a replacement for its 1980s-era Trident 2D-5, the missile is being modernized with improved electronics, firing circuitry and targeting technology to arm the emerging Columbia-class ballistic missile submarines. When the time comes to build a new sub-launched missile, its design and configuration will largely be based upon the existing Trident, this is, in part, due to the long-term reliability the weapon has shown for decades. A new, life-extended variant of the weapon, called the Trident 2 d 5 la was first installed in 2017, arming the fleet with an upgraded weapon slated to serve well into the 2040s and beyond. The three-stage ballistic missile can travel a nominal range of 4,000 nautical miles and carry multiple independently targeted re-entry bodies, according to Navy and Lockheed information. The firepower of a Trident 2D-5 is substantial. According to the AUS Navy 2018 report from the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists, each Trident can carry up to eight warheads bringing an average load out of approximately 90 warheads per submarine. As part of the technical improvements to the missile, the Navy has been upgrading what's called the MK-4 re-entry body, the element of the missile that houses a thermonuclear warhead. The Navy has also, in recent years, been working with the Air Force on refurbishing the MK-5 re-entry body. Navy officials say the MK-5 re-entry body has more yield than the MK-4 re-entry body, adding that more detail on the differences was not publicly available. Within the last several years, the Navy has acquired more than 100 Trident 2D-5 missiles in order to strengthen the inventory for testing and further technological development. The 130,000-pound Trident 2D-5 missile can travel 20,000 feet per second, according to Navy figures. 
the new Columbia-class submarines are expected to serve all the way into the 2080s and beyond. By 2042, Columbia-class submarines will carry 70% of the nation's accountable strategic warheads. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.